Greetings from San Antonio, Texas. I'm Carlos Roberto Jaén, a family physician and chair of the Department of Family and Community Medicine at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio. I am pleased to recommend to you this educational series that we hope will help everyone better understand diabetes and its devastating effects and what could happen if this disease is not controlled appropriately. The content of the videos are intended not only to explain the process of this disease and its implications on everyday life, but also to offer ideas to better manage it. The information contained in the series is the result of a five-year practice-based study conducted in South Texas and funded through the National Institute of Health. The series of videos in English and Spanish are brought to you by a collaboration of my department, the Institute for the Integration of Medicine and Science, in the South Central Area Health Education Center. Enjoy. What's cooking, Mimo? Eggs and salsa. I've been craving a lot of spicy things lately. I'm not surprised. My little girl's gonna be just like her daddy. <laughs> you want some? I made enough for both of us. No, 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 no. That's perfect. So that way both of you can eat together because... I'm sticking to something a little more exciting. Pizza! Again? You had pizza last night. Not to mention it was leftovers from a work pizza party. But that's why I love Wednesdays. And besides, it tastes better cold. Keep it up. And when your daughter comes running out, you're not gonna be able to catch her. <laughs> I'm starting to forget who's pregnant. <sighs> Come on. Okay, hurry up. You have to get ready for work. Okay, and don't yes. forget about your doctor's appointment today. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. And the fury needed I'm serious. We both agreed to have a physical zip. before the baby Tonight, was born. I haven't forgotten. And I'm gonna go. Let me, let me just see who won last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're down to the second you know, we could play on the you're lucky I'm not like my brother. I'd be the one waking up in the morning and giving you a hard time about what you eat. He's the health now. And the Barbarians are still 14-point favorites to defeat the Blues. Eleven other games are on tap as well. Well, something smells good in here. Daddy! How was your ride? It was great. Temperature's perfect, weather's fine, great day for a bike ride. But now I'm starving. Well, you should be. You were gone for a while. What's on the menu? Waffles. And I helped. And she sure did. Mommy said they're your favorite. We're making chocolate chip, cherries, and whole wheat. So, uh, which one do I give Daddy? Well, first of all, I need to know how was your sugar reading this morning? It was good. Oh, that's wonderful. So, that means chocolate chip? Well, how about whole wheat for now? And maybe some ice cream later to celebrate. Celebrate? Yes, aren't you graduating to the seventh grade tomorrow? That's right. Are you gonna be able to come? Of course, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Well, here you go. And I even found some sugar-free maple syrup. Perfect, I can definitely have some ice cream then. Or some frozen yogurt maybe later. And what kind do you want me, huh? 
Um, I'll have the ones that Dad is having. Okay. Now, what time do you need to be in at work? Well, I have Charlie opening the restaurant, so I have some time. Oh, your brother's going? Of course, he never misses the barbacoa special unless it's his favorite plate. That's right. You can take a seat now. The doctor will be right in. I hope he gets here before the barbacoa runs out. It won't take long. I'm Nora, the PA. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. I knew my favorite loyal customer would show up. You know me. Hermano, is everything okay? No, man, not really. What's wrong? Jose, how you doing? Fine. No time to see. I know. I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm starving. All right, well, this is not going to take too long. I just have a couple of questions to ask you. Go ahead, fire away. If, if I remember correctly, someone in your family has diabetes? No, my, uh, my brother and my aunt. I see. You know, with the way but, you... But I'm fine. Are you? There's no diabetes here because I, I don't eat candy and I don't drink a lot of soda, so I'm good. That's good. Right. I'm glad you're making some good choices. Oh, yeah. Nevertheless, you're, you know, you're a little overweight, and with a family history of diabetes, it's probably best if we make a, take a test to make sure that you don't have it. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Is that what you're worried about? L let me finish. I'll say I have some bad news. You do have diabetes, type two. And it's, I think it's important for you to realize that this is a treatable disease and something that we can do about it. We, we can work together to make it happen. Jose, you okay? Yeah, yeah. You know, we really need to have a, you come for a follow-up. And it would be good if your wife can join you because then we can talk together about what it means to, to have the diabetes and go from there. Is that okay? All right. Jose. Yeah? So what else did the doctor tell you? <sighs> you know what, I didn't really understand a lot of what he was telling me. I just needed to get out of there. Hi, hermano. So how are you feeling? I feel fine, but now because of some stupid disease, I'm not gonna be able to enjoy life? Why would God do this to me? I mean, take away the best things in life. You know, like birthday cake and ice cream on hot summer days. Pan dulce. I'm never gonna be able to have pan dulce again. Relax, hombre. I've had type two diabetes for five years and I can still eat pan dulce. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, doesn't having diabetes mean that you can't have sweets because of sugar in your blood? Not exactly. You see, our body produces insulin that moves sugar from our bloodstream to our muscles. In people with diabetes, this doesn't occur. It can cause you to be really thirsty and hungry. It can give you problems with, with seeing. It can give you difficulty with healing sores and cuts. And in some cases, it can cause you to lose weight. You see? I mean, losing weight, I mean, that's good, right? So I shouldn't really worry. Wrong. You know what they call diabetes? What? The silent killer. Diabetes can lead to blindness, gum disease, heart attack or stroke, and in some cases, it can cause your kidneys to stop working. If you're not careful, you can also lose your feet, your legs, and in some men, it can even cause problems with getting it up. Uh, thanks for making me feel better. Look, diabetes is serious. You really have to think about it, especially for Maria and the baby. Uh, great, because I'm hungry. Time out. Let me give you a crash course in ordering. My kitchen will be the best classroom. I, I don't know what the big deal is. You just said I could have pan dulce. <laughs> so you're going to teach me about how you should eat, huh? All right, which one of these has sugar and which one does not? That's easy. The soda has the sugar. Trick question, they both do. 
These tortillas are made with flour, and flour is a simple sugar. Eating these tortillas is the same as eating a cupcake. A cupcake? So, that means no pan de dulce, huh? When I went to a dietitian, he taught me a lot about the foods that I could eat and could not eat. But most importantly, he taught me that my blood glucose is the most important guide for choosing healthy foods. I don't have time sometimes to choose the best foods or the right foods. I work, I'm busy, and I, I gotta keep going, man. What do you mean you don't have time? We're talking about your health here. How do I know what foods are the right foods? It's gonna be some trial and error. But a way to start is by choosing healthy options. I've incorporated things like beans without lard, chicken with more vegetables, caldo de pollo, caldo de res, and salads. All my food is bought fresh, and I've used the Por Vida program to make improvements on my menu. You can still eat tortillas, but try corn instead, or just eat half of one flour tortilla. And if you look at my menu, I've even identified the healthy foods. So just eat a bunch of healthy food? No, just because it's healthy doesn't mean you should pick out. You always have to watch your portions. And not to mention, it'll help you control your weight. Uh, well, Maria's always getting after me about my weight. Maria, what am I gonna tell her about not being able to eat her delicious platillos? She is a good cook, so she'll have no problem making healthier foods for both of y'all. You can learn about diabetes together. I guess you're right. So, is there something on the menu that you saw that is better than barbacoa? Well, the grilled pollo a la mexicana, topped with onions, side of vegetables, frijoles borrachos. I like the way that looked. Sounds great. Make that two number 12s. Wow, that was really good. See, healthy options can be delicious options. Well, yeah, and they make for good leftovers. I mean, that chicken was huge. I usually split a plate with Christina. It helps to save money, too. You know what? And I don't feel that overstuffed, ugly feeling in my stomach. And I won't feel like I overate when I'm at work. Speaking of which, I gotta get going. Besides, it looks like you're getting pretty busy in here. Good luck, hermano. And keep me up to date on what the doctor tells you the next time you meet with him. And if you have any other questions, give me a call. Of course. You know, and thanks for lunch again. And tell Josefina that I send her a big hug and a kiss from a favorite tío. Will do. All right. Diabetes is something you will have for the rest of your life. It cannot be cured, but it can be controlled. For more information on understanding what it means to live with diabetes, visit the websites listed on your screen. What are you doing, sweetie? Oh, I want to get some water on this yard. It's so dry. Yeah, who well, needs it? You know, I'm thinking of inviting Jose and Maria to dinner tonight. It's not a bad idea. Except you're going to need to buy some more chicken because Maria's eating for two. <laughs> I wonder how they're holding up now that Jose's been diagnosed with diabetes. Mm. I know it was hard on us when the doctor told me that I had diabetes. I thought I was going to die. Yeah, boy, that sure was scary. I can just imagine how Maria feels. I'm definitely inviting them over. I think it would be good for them to see that it's not so hard to live with diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. Turn on the water for me. Oh, yeah. Esta es Silvia. Oh, okay. Hello. Hi, Maria. It's Tia Silvia. How's my favorite niece-in-law doing? Oh, I'm fine, Tia Silvia. How are you? Good, good. Just here doing some yard work. I was wondering if you all had any plans for dinner tonight. I'm making Jose's favorite arroz con pollo. Oh, I'm sure he would love that. Um, Jose should be getting out of work right about now. And I know he wouldn't miss it for the world. Great. I'll make sure to have two plates ready. Yeah. Ooh, better make that three. Josefina and I are having a girls' day out together. Even better. I'd love to see my favorite niece. How's about seven o'clock? Sounds great. I'll make sure I give Jose a call. Do you need me to bring anything? No, no. Just yourselves and your appetite. 
I can guarantee that. <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? Okay, sweetie. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ow! My favorite. What's that? Oh, man, I just found out that I've got some good cooking coming my way. Oh, yeah? I thought you couldn't eat anything, you know, because you got diabetes. Uh, I just got to be careful with what I eat. Yeah? That's all. You know, my abuelita had diabetes. She's 85 years old. 85. Yeah, 85. She drank an herbal tea, cured it. Really? Yeah. Herbal tea? Herbal tea. You drink enough of it, and it might cure you, too. Herbal tea? Herbal tea. I hope your tia doesn't mind us being a little late. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. And I'm sure the arroz con pollo will still be fresh when we get there. Oh, you read my mind. I'm so hungry. Me too. I hope Tia makes a legendary pineapple bananas too. <sighs> Can you eat the empanadas after the arroz con pollo? I thought your doctor told you to cut back on sweets and starches. Uh, yeah, but I've been drinking this herbal tea and I think my diabetes is going to be okay. Besides, if I keep drinking it, it might even cure it. Who told you that? Fabian. And you believed him? Yeah, he said that his abuela drank it and it cured her and... Uh, he also told you that he caught a chupacabra in his backyard. <laughs> it's possible. It's impossible for a tea to cure diabetes. I mean, if that were true, then no one in the world would have diabetes. You know what? I I've been feeling fine. Just because you feel fine doesn't mean your diabetes has gone away. There is no cure. It can only be controlled. You're starting to sound like David. Maybe David's right. Well, enough talk about this herbal tea stuff. Let's eat. Yes, let's go. <gasps> Mikha, if you're full, you don't have to eat everything. We'll save this for later, okay? Why don't you go and play out in the yard? It was delicious. Thank you, Tia Sylvia. You're welcome, Mikha. I'll call you when the dessert is ready. Dessert? I'm glad I saved some room. Mm -hmm. I remember my mother used to tell me to always finish everything on my plate. I know, my mom too. Oh, it led to some bad eating habits, especially my overeating after I was already full. <sighs> Worked on me. It sure did, but now we're changing our way of eating to help keep Jose's diabetes under control. Yeah. When I was diagnosed 20 years ago, Javier and I didn't know for sure what the next steps were. Yeah, so some old habits are just tough to break. Mm hmm I went and talked to my doctor and he helped me develop a routine with my diet and exercise. I'm pretty sure my diabetes is fine. I mean, I feel okay. Uh, how would I know if it's under control? Well, for the most part, my doctor sends me to a lab to go and check on something called A1C, where the number should be less than seven. Last month when I went, uh, the doctor said I had a 6.5. I was so happy. But don't you just need the little machine and a pill to, to make the sugar go down when it's high? Is that what the doctor said? <laughs> no, but I assume that's how it works. The A1C plays a big part in seeing how your diabetes is doing. It tells the doctor how well your diabetes is being controlled over the past three months. The machine only tells you that day. Do you use that little machine too? No, uh, diabetes is different for everyone. Um, it's best if you talk to your doctor and listen to what he says so that you can stay healthy. So, there's the little machine, the A1C. Uh, what's, what's all this about the ABC that my doctor mentioned to me? Yeah, the ABCs are important. This is how my doctor explained it to me. The A stands for A1C, which should be less than seven in order for your diabetes to be controlled. Can you guess what the B stands for? He told me uh, to, to make sure that I keep my blood pressure under control, just, as, just like my diabetes, it's just as important. So, I guess blood pressure? <laughs> That's correct. You need to check it every day. If it goes uncontrolled, it can be very dangerous. It can cause heart attacks, strokes, kidney problems. You need to check it every time you go to the doctor, and if it helps, write it down so that you can keep track of it. That's a good idea. What would be a good number? Well, most people with diabetes should have the top number be less than 130 and the bottom number less than 80. Okay, so uh, top number less than 130, bottom one less than 80. 
I got it. What does the C stand for? It stands for cholesterol. There are several different types in your body, but the one that's called LDL is bad for you. And why is that? Well, Sylvia's doctor said that it can build up and clog your arteries. Just check with your doctor. For most people with diabetes, uh, they should have an LDL cholesterol of less than 100. For other people, it's okay to be less than 70. <sighs> okay, uh, I think I got it. <laughs> What's that? That's why it's so important to keep your visits with your doctor. I mean, just like with us, he can help you develop a schedule of when you should have your ABCs checked. If it's easy for me to remember, anyone can. And for everything else I can't remember, I have Javier. <laughs> well, you know, it really is a family effort. You know, and all these numbers, they can go up with a healthy diet and regular exercise. Mm -hmm. I make sure to get plenty of exercise. And Isabella takes me for a walk five times a week. And it's great because I get to spend time with the grandkids and stay healthy. Yeah. And even though I don't have diabetes, I still keep an eye out for what we're eating. We do our best to eat healthy meals every time. And yes, sometimes we cheat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that reminds me, I'll go get the dessert. Maria, can you help me? Oh, yeah. Silvia, el arroz con pollo. Was that cheating? Not really. I got this recipe from a cookbook from the National Diabetes Educational Program. Ah. It was free on their website. It talked about preparing foods and how much you should eat. There's recipes for everyone, including kids. There's other websites you can look into. Did you make the pineapple empanadas? Not this time. We're having a dessert from the healthy cookbook I was talking to Jose about. Yes, Javier was telling me about it. Mm -hmm. It's good to know there's a place to get healthy recipes for Jose. Yeah, but it can't be as delicious as your empanadas. Just try it. <sighs> okay. Oh, wow, that's really good. It's good. <laughs> it really is. Don't worry, Maria. You and I will have our girls' day, and I'll teach you all the healthy and delicious recipes. Mm. <laughs> For more information on how food, medications, herbal remedies, and exercise all affect your well-being, visit the websites listed on your screen and talk to your doctor. Isn't this great? Hermanos and now walking buddies. I'm really glad that you started to do a little exercise. Uh, you call this a little bit? You're only out of breath now. It's gonna get easier. And I sure hope so. Who would have ever thought? Saturday, and I'm not sleeping in? Here, make sure you stay hydrated. And, thanks. And just because you're my brother, doesn't mean I'm gonna take it easy on you. Oh, thanks, I think. That's enough for the day. Same time tomorrow. Sure, why not? Hello. Good morning, Sunshine. You missed out on some really good walks. Yeah, I know. It's still the foot, man. Really? How's it looking? It didn't look good yesterday. Hmm. 
What did the doctor tell you? Uh, things got really busy at work, and uh, I didn't even I didn't even make it to the appointment. But hey, I'm sure it's gonna get better soon. Ah, uh, hermano, you have to make sure you take good care of your feet. Yes, I know. But look, I'll give you a call later. All right. Take care of yourself. Yeah, he just wanted to see if I was up for a walk. Hungry? No, not really. How's your foot doing? I think it's getting better. Yeah, right. Great. Empty. And this thing just isn't healing. You better hurry, you're gonna be late for work. Hey, man. Wow. You're limping pretty hard. Are you all right? No, man. I'm just trying to stay off of it. Yeah, but it's been like a week. Don't you think you should get it checked out? When? I can't afford to take off any work. Yeah, but well, does it hurt? Yeah. Yeah, really bad. Hey, hey. Jose. Hey. How's the foot? Um, it's, it's okay. I, I just trying to stay off of it. That's all. Can I speak to you for a second? Sure. You should take some time off and get that foot looked at by a doctor. Thanks, boss, but I, I can't afford to lose any shifts right now. I understand. But uh, your current state, you can barely walk. You're not getting much work done anyway. Look, I'll work some shifts. I'll switch the hours around so when you get back, you can make up the lost time, okay? But you need to get that looked at. Really? Really. You've been in this company a long time, and I do not want you to put your work before your health. Okay? Thanks, boss. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. Stop by the office later on. We'll fill out the proper forms and paperwork and get you started. Okay? All right. All right. Hey, man, well, there you go. Now you got no reason not to go to the doctor. I guess you're right. Man, I bet you're going to be fine. A little Neosporin and a Band-Aid, you'll be good as new. Thank you all for visiting me. Who would have thought that one nail could cause so much trouble? That's what familia is for. Through thick and thin, we all are here. You need to start taking care of yourself better, especially your feet. Yeah, and I need to keep an eye out for nails. <laughs> Not just nails. You have to check your feet regularly for cuts and sores. When your blood sugar is high, your body can't fight off infections around injuries like that. Have you been taking your medications? No. No, they're just too expensive. Well, you can talk to your doctor, your pharmacist, about taking a less expensive drug. Or you can take the generic ones. And how's the healthy eating coming along? I've been trying. But man, those, that healthy food is so expensive. David and I went through a similar situation. But you know, we found that buying healthy food was a lot cheaper than a hospital visit. Plus, you'll feel a lot stronger than eating junk food. And you'll feel better knowing you'll be around when your daughter is born. OK. All right. Y'all are right. I need to try harder. Hello, everyone. Jose, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling OK, especially now that I got the proper attention to my foot. I'm glad to hear that. I need to speak to Maria and Jose, so I'm going to ask that the family please wait in the waiting area. I'll see you in a bit. Jose, the doctor wanted me to come and check up on you and introduce you to one of his patients. Okay. Roberto, you can come in now. Jose, I'd like to introduce you to Roberto. 
The doctor wanted you to talk to him for a few minutes. I will return later. Do you know why the doctor is introducing me to both of you? No. I have no idea. Speak up, please. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. He said we don't know why the doctor brought you in here. I have diabetes. When I was young, I thought that because I felt fine, I didn't need to take care of myself. But now, I've lost sight on my left eye, my kidneys are failing, and I have to go on a dialysis machine every day to clean my blood. If not, I'll die. I'm in my 40s, and even though I'm not an old man, I feel old. My daughter just had a baby, and I won't ever have the chance to look at her sweet face. I'm sorry. I'm not here to make you feel sorry about me. I'm just trying to make you both understand how much diabetes can change your life. Did diabetes make you lose your foot? Yeah. I got a sore on my foot and the infection spread. They started with below the ankle, but the infection spread fast. They had to amputate below my knee. I used to be active too. Played baseball with my kids every Sunday. And here I can't even go walking. Jose, well, you're still young. You don't have to go through this. Don't make the same mistake I did. Don't. Thank you, Roberto. You taught me, you taught us more than you can imagine. Take care, Jose. You too. Bye. That poor man. I don't want to see that happening to you. And I don't want diabetes to take my life away. I see now that I need to take control of my diabetes before it takes control of me. I'm glad to hear that. I know that you've missed the last two appointments, but it's important from now on to make every appointment. If you don't make your appointments, the doctor can't help you. We could have avoided the hospital visit today. Also, it's important for you to check your feet every day for sores and strange sensations. You need to take your medications too. You might possibly lose your eyesight or even a leg. Like Roberto. I see now how important it is take control of the diabetes. If not only for myself, for my family. It took a close call for Jose to finally realize the importance of taking control of his disease. For things you can do to control your diabetes and prevent serious complications, visit the websites listed on your screen and always follow your doctor's instructions.